with these other pieces, I added some buttons and things to the wire and twisted up the wire. And so I just wanted to show you how, um, how I did that. So I'm just going to take this stick that we just did, the ink and the decoupage on. And I've already cut a piece of wire. So I'm simply going to twist it around to get it started on one end. And I'm just going to twist it here with my fingers. And then just use my pliers to get that last little bit hooked around. So I can hear my daughter out there giggling a little bit. You might hear her in the background. Okay, so I've got it started. So I'm just gonna put a few little kinks in here just by twisting it around a few times. I've got my few buttons here that I'm gonna use, but I'm just gonna put a little kink in it here. So now it's just got this cute little curly cue and that's gonna stop the button or whatever I have from going too far. I found this cute little thing. I don't remember if it was off of, I don't know what it's from, but I think I am just gonna weave this on. It has two holes in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down and then put my wire through the second hole. there so that's just going to hold it in place so I'm just going to put one more little kink in it before I put my next button on there I'm going to go with a little one here so I'm just gonna alternate adding buttons with my little curly Q twists so that it creates a little bit of space in between the buttons if you wanted to stack them up you could too but I've just got my curly cues going and I got my big bigger button here now that I'll just thread on down. Put another twist in here. I'm just going to put these two buttons right close together here. Okay, so I think that's about where I want it. So I'm just going to slip this back onto the end of my twig here. And if you want to avoid that, you can twist it a little bit tighter than I did probably. So then I'm just going to loop this around. Just make a little arch there. And then I'm just going to loop it around a couple of times and then twist it around on the end. You guys, it's really just a simple way to add a little more interest to your ornament by just putting the beads. See, now my beads are going to fall down there. That's okay, too. So... So here we are. Remember, one step is better than regret. Okay? I'll be excited to hear from you and maybe 
have you take a few pictures and, and share your pictures with us on Facebook of what you come up with um, for your ornaments. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. You guys, if you'd like to join us for one day class, it starts on Monday. You can register here at the website at whiteowlwings.com. And we are going to have a lesson and a project. Um, and sometimes a couple of projects. Some will be really simple like this. Some might involve a little bit more. Uh, but I am so just eager to get started with you. And remember that you can take as much time to do these projects as you need. Um, you're not limited on the time. And um, so it's going to be up there for you once you've enrolled. You can take as much like I said, as much time as you need. Thanks for joining me for coffee and some words of courage this morning. And I will look forward to hopefully seeing you soon. And I hope you enjoyed this um, time this morning. So have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Thank you.